happy Friday to you. I hope you're all doing well. This week, we're going to do a little, little bit more with those cool lace and paper beads. And we're going to make a stretchy bracelet. I think I showed you in the last video one that I'd made, but I want to do one start to finish, and I found another way to uh, make a velvet bead. So, um, and it makes a really good stopper bead. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to try and string something up and see what happens. See where the road takes us. I know one thing for sure. This is going to come out. But I need something to come out right now. I've been working on so many projects lately that don't come out. That ever happened to you? Of course it does. It happens to everybody. It's just, doesn't it stink when it happens? <laughs> don't you just hate it? You're going right along and say, oh yeah, that's going to be cool. And then it's not. Okay, so I have a little spool bead here. And I just put a tiny little bit of glue on it okay then I have this narrow I think it's 3 8 inch velvet ribbon okay and I'm just gonna apply it doesn't it isn't like a perfect fit but it's a nearly perfect fit so it's gonna work good it's gonna be okay so I'm just putting that on there and tamping it down onto that bead of glue so it stay and then I'm just gonna continue to get the rest of this piece up here and this is so easy because <clears throat> all you do is you just kind of go keep going, you know. I could cut some of it off. You may find that to be helpful. So, but you do what suits you. Anyway. Now the other beads, as you'll recall, we use Mod Podge to make them. Or, you know, whatever you have that's like Mod Podge, just, there are a number of things. Some people just use like white elves, white Elmer's glue. If you have some of that, it will work. It's not my choice, to be honest with you. I've used it, not my choice. Not, not what I would prefer, but it does work. It works for a number of things. So, <clears throat> for example, if you're using embossing powder, um, you can use the white glue to set it, like with the ice enamels, how that was. Basically, all the setting agent was 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 uh, some kind of white glue. Oh, look what happened! I didn't check it first. It does. <laughs> it doesn't have a hole. See what I mean? This doesn't have a hole at all. This is a fake bead. Well, I showed you how to roll it. Let's do another one. We'll really know well now. Now that's that's something to pay attention to. Make sure your bead has holes before you start monkeying around. Okay, this will only take a minute. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hunk of this off first. I just don't want to cut too much because I I don't like to waste it. And so many times <clears throat> when I start doing something like this, I discover that I don't need nearly. I said, okay, this is open. I don't need nearly as much like ribbon or whatever as I cut off to do it. <clears throat> so, you know, it's just that much more you have left for another project if you don't use it all up, you know, or waste it, right? Yeah. That's how that goes. So anyway, so I made some more lace buttons. Um, not lace buttons. I made more lace beads, excuse me. And they all set up nicely. And I have some paper beads too. And then I found things to go with them. That is from our website at bsuboutiques.com where we carry so many cool things. If you haven't been over to see it, you really need to come. And what I'm going to show you at the end of this video is this little kit I put together to make lace and paper beads. Okay? And this week, which is today is... <clears throat> Excuse me, July 17th, right? Yeah, today is Friday, July 17th. It's 14th. 14th? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, 17th is Monday. Okay, yeah. I got mixed up. Okay, yes, it's the 14th. I'm sorry, guys. It's the 14th. So, through this weekend into Monday, okay? What you mean, Monday's the 17th. So, from today, the 14th, to the 17th. If you're just seeing this, um... you will um, be able to receive that kit for free to help you make beads. 
I'm offering it as a gift of purchase. So you get it for free. And it has most of the stuff in it that you need to go ahead and start making beads and putting them things together. Probably most of the stuff you would need to do the basics of this bracelet are in that little kit. I'll show it to you in a few minutes after we're done working with this, okay? So anyway, so it's going to be free with purchase of $35 and up, which is easily done. So come over and give us a little bit of love over at bsubtiques.com. We would appreciate your business. And um, we will reward you this weekend with some freebie stuff that you can use to make something fun that you'll enjoy. That bracelet that I made last week that was in the video, if you don't remember or you haven't seen that yet, Javi put the picture of that bracelet as the thumbnail for this video. So you can go back and find it easily. If you want to see me working on it, you can go back to last week's video. It's just the very last video after this. Yeah, we'll put a link above. And you, you can go over and watch me make that one too. So you'll be all ready to go. Okay, so now I've got a little seam here. And it's a little bit, you know, lifted up here because the velvet ribbon is, you know, it's got texture to it. So... And I also got a little run over with the glue. No problem, because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that right over it. You're never going to see it. You all know it's there because you saw me make it, right? Oh, yeah. So it's going to be right there. And I'm going to hold it down for a minute. Just be careful. Does it seep through and burn you? Because it doesn't feel good. You don't like that. I don't anyway. And then so now I've got a nice bead to use. Because I saw with some of the bigger beads... And I just needed um, a little more of something with it. And some of them were kind of getting hard to get them to look right, to lay right, you know. So I went with this. Okay, I could put a little bit more glue under this, but I'm not going to for now. I'll do it later when I have a little bit more time because I don't want to mess it up. Sometimes certain things you need to, you know, go just a little bit slower with. Okay, and of course... I'm using hot glue in this video because hot glue works with fabric and wood and things like that, natural products. Um, but don't use it when you're making metal to glass, you know, your regular type assemblage collage jewelry. Like you're making button jewelry or you're making pieces of jewelry out of old stuff or, you know, brass stampings or whatever. No, you need E6000 for that. If you use hot glue, you won't have a good result. It will not, your piece will not have longevity is what I want to say. Okay, it won't last. Okay, so see what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this one up against this one. Pretty, huh? And then, um, oh, I had one done already. So, okay, so now we got two. Oh, is this going to be cute or what? Right, guys? It's going to be so cute. Okay, so let's get started. And this is going to be, of course, the center. You know how I start my stretchies. I always get my center first. So I had determined already to uh, use these pieces. So I know what my center is, so I don't have to play with that. Now, I could have, if I wanted to, I could have put some rhinestone rondelles in between there. You know what? I'm going to put one on this side just to see what it looks like. And I think I'm going to use one of these big gold ones. This is a... This is a shrag rondel. That's when it's kind of like a little pan, but it flares out around the edge. Like this is a standard rondel. See, now you're going to know some really some really uh, advanced jewelry. So, jewelry speak. Excuse me, I can't talk today. This is your regular uh, rondel. I think it's about an 8 millimeter. It's in a gold finish setting. And it's got the check AB preciosa beads in the side of the stones. This one, though, you can see it kind of flares out around the bottom. They call that a shrag. I love shrags because you can use them also for, like, a little mount. If you have a little stone can go in there, you can use that and make a button earring out of it. Really fun. Or you can put them back to back. And now you got a double shrag. Let's see if i got that in the right place for you to see it. I mean, you can just build this out any number of ways. So I'm going to put shrag in there. I'm going to put a shrag in there. I think it will <clears throat> look good. As you know, once you get making on these, it doesn't take too long to get done, you know. As long as you've got your, your pieces, parts, or whatever, you know, pulled out ahead of time, and you know what you're going to do, you know, putting it together is probably the least thing you have to do. 
main thing is getting that knot right. Okay, so this is going to be real pretty. So I'm going to put this up against it. Some of the beads I want to use on this, they just have too small of a hole. Oh, that's going to be lovely. They just have too small of a hole to work with um, this uh, stretch magic, uh, stretchy cord. I, I probably could have made them work if I sat in here, like reamed them or something, you know, with a beading all, but I didn't want to, so I didn't. Okay, we're not going to worry about that swinging around right now. We're just going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going. So now what I want is I want two more of these. And, of course, I want to get them to kind of size up. This looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. <clears throat> that one this way. I think I'm going to put just a regular rondelle in there to keep that flash going. I'm going to stay right here in the middle. This hobby has to nudge me a lot. I get off <coughs> camera, but you knew that. That's what I do. Been getting off camera for many a year now. It's, I think, 13 years we've been doing this. Javi's been doing it with me for about nine. How about that? Time flies. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. And we've been having fun for all that time. Now, this one, the hole, can you see? It's a little bit. You can do it! So. I may have to do a little bit of wiggling to get that. No, it was fine. Went right through. I was wrong. Okay. And I'll just do that on the other side with the other one that's kind of the same size. See, when you make these, you might want to keep that in mind. That you might want a set of them that are kind of like all one size or that, that go together. So that you can use them in one project, you know. Like last week, most of them I used to do... Um, um, tassels so only needed one or two and they didn't really need to be the same size you know I'm going to take see this there's a little um, seam there if you will so I'm going to put one of these over top of it and then that way you never see that it just thinks it just seems to be an endless wonderful thing and I'm sorry if this is making a big noise when I put it down I noticed on my computer when I go back to watch these again later on in the day after they come up um, there's another seam here sometimes you know putting that down like that can make a big noise so I apologize for that it's because the microphone is right above it I think so okay so here we go these are rolling around a little bit, but you know what you could do about that? If it's rolling around too much and you don't like it, just keep putting these little things on there. Put one on the other side, too. Then you don't have to worry about it. But we'll worry about that at the end, because we're going to be fine with this. <clears throat> okay, so now, what's the next thing we want to do? Well, I'm thinking I want to put another rondelle, because that's such a pretty look. Rondelle. I love, love, love it. I just love that golden flash with the gold um, metal and then the um, crystal AB. Do you know when they first made the color crystal AB or any kind of an AB, like you have jet AB, topaz AB, rose AB, violin AB, blah, 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 blah. You know what AB means, right? It's Aurora Borealis. Do you know when they started doing Aurora Borealis's finishes? This is jewelry making history. I bet a lot of you guys know. Jewelry making history. <coughs> they started to do them back. Back in the 50s, mid 50s. About the time I was born, and I'm 67 now, so they've been making them a long time. <laughs> they've been doing them a long time. But I love it. There's some people they hate that. They don't like that flash finish. But I have always been a big fan of that. These are the little um, coral rondelles. I thought they might be pretty on here. So I put one. Just kind of see. I think we have them in stock. Now if we don't, we'll have them really, really soon. And now I think. I don't think I can get this one. I don't know. You want to see? Shall we try it? This is a little one of those little Palmer clay bees with the stones all around. It might make it, it might surprise, oh, guess what? 
Look at that. It worked. I did not expect that to happen. I did not. Okay, so I get another one on there. Like that. Now, I've got enough on here now. I better start checking to see how loaded up I've got this. Because, you know. Now, I do see something. You may want to go ahead and put a bead in here anyways. Because when you stretch it shut, do you see what's happening? Well, anyway, there's too big of a space. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to anyway, right? Yay. Anyway, I'm going to go back and do that because... Myself, if I had a piece like that, I probably might not wear it. You know, so we want people to wear the jewelry that they buy from us, or if we make it for ourselves, we don't want it to be goofed up. So this will only take a minute. <clears throat> so why not do it right? Right? That's what I say. I also have some Miriam Haskell pearls here, but that hole is so itty bit. There, there ain't no way. Let's see if I can. These are so special, but I don't think there's any way we're going to get through that. I'm just kind of using this as a little, you know, beating all. I don't know, I might. I'm just going to try it because it works so good on the other one. Yeah, when you use the big beads, sometimes I can... Oh, look at that. Ha! Huh. Can you believe it? That totally worked. Okay, let's do another one. So this is that little pointy thing. I think we have them on the site. If we don't, I'll get some. Or you might find them somewhere in your travels. Everybody needs at least one or two of these hanging around. Just so you got them ready. Everybody. Everybody needs them. So you're getting to see two ways to do this. And the trick of it that you're learning is that... Um, Sometimes you got to ream your beads out, and sometimes you got to be careful, like when you're using a big fat bead, you know, when your stretchy cord is just going to stretch, it might not look quite right. And that's what we found, didn't we? Yep, we did. So, alrighty. So, I think I will get through this. Huh. I swore I wouldn't. Okay, so we got this. We got this here. That's pretty. What you could do, if you want to, I'm not going to do it now, but you could do, if you know how to knot, maybe you could put a knot right here. I wouldn't do it all the way around the, the bead, the bracelet, because it's stretchy cord and you want it to stretch, but maybe right at the front might not be a terrible idea. Or do some kind of a bead stopper kind of thing that will make it stay, you know, in place. See what I got in my little bag of goodies here. Look at all this good stuff I got in here. I'm telling you what, see. This is all from BC Boutiques. And this is the kind of stuff we have there. Wonderful stuff. That's what we have. I'm going to go ahead and put my um, little lace bead on next. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you come up with something new and you got to play with it a little bit. You know, it looks real pretty. You got it. It works. But sometimes there's little things about it that you don't like and you got to go back and play with it. But yeah, usually putting a little stopper in there will help to some degree. But these are chunkier beads, so you'll have that, I guess, sometimes. Okay, so we get this back on. Stop yakking, Brenda. All the time. But I do like to talk to you while I'm doing this. So, And I'm going to put a shrag over this. Because that'll be a real pretty look. And I'll put this. Yeah, we have some of these Miriam Haskell beads at the website too. What they are, they're made by a sister company to the one that originally made them back in the day that is out of business now. And if you happen to know them and know where they are, you can contact them and they will make them to order for you for big money. <laughs> I had to buy a whole lot all at one time. But we still have some. Okay, I'm putting these little faux coral beads on. What do you got there? She's got a chicken. Oh, I know why she's doing that. It's because I'm going over time. That's our, that's our, um, 
our little message. Let me go ahead and finish this up. What I'm saying over time, there really isn't an overtime on YouTube. I can go as long as I want, but we're trying to keep our be beads, our videos shorter if we can. Because uh, Javi says that if they're under a certain length, you get better resolution. That means it'll show up nicer for you when you go to look at it. And we want you to have the best experience, so, of course. So that's why. So, okay, so I'm just going to finish this up then, buddy. Get this out of the way. So what will I put next? Well, I was going to put some little paper beads. Let's see how this works. Yeah, there's that. You got to get it so, see, it just goes right up into it. You want it to go right up into it so, you know, it's kind of fill that a little bit. And as you play around with this, you'll find better and better ways to do it, too. This is kind of a new thing for me. Yeah, I think you're going to be okay because when I twist, turn this, you know, it's it's doing pretty good. Okay, so I need, I need to get another... Maybe I'll put a Haskell bead in there. Yeah, these are pretty special. They're glass, and they're made in Japan. I have to ream this first, just a little bit. You know what, for the sake of time, I'm not going to this time. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use these. Because I really do want the resolution to be good when you look at this. I want you to have the best viewing experience so that you'll feel encouraged to go and make one because I want you to make them. I wouldn't be on here showing you this if I didn't want you to make them, right? Okay, and I still want to show you the little kit, which will only take a minute. Okay, so let's see how close we're getting. We're not done, I know, but I just want to see how close. Because it, it's different all the time, especially when you put a big bead, how it's going to fit up on you and everything, you know. You have to check. Okay, yeah, I need quite a few yet, so... I'm just going to keep going. Keep going with the paper, maybe. Do I have another one this size? Yes, I do. Yeah, we have this signal that now whenever I'm going a little long to get a good res resolution on the video, she taps the table with um, the, tr the chicken. Okay, now I'm going to see how this goes. I just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more and we'll be done. We got it. I would have probably done this a little bit differently, but this is still going to be really, really pretty, you know? And that's the main thing. And then, you know, it'll be even prettier when you do it. So, so if you want to see how to make the beads, go back to last week's video and you'll see how to make them. I showed you how to make the... the uh, velvet beads, all you need is um, this one hard yet? Yeah. All you need is the little spools. We have them at the website if you're looking for them, if you don't have any. Okay, so I'm going to put this through. You know how I do it. I go back and forth on it to make it stay. It might end up even being a little bit big, but if it does, we're not going to worry about it. We just want to get we just want to get her done. Okay, I want to get this tied off. See, this one's still fighting and not perfectly what I would want. Okay, I gotta get. I didn't do this right. Of course. Yeah, I see what I did. I'm supposed to tie this first, Brenda. I'm not having the best day. But I'm glad I'm here for you, and then I could get this done. But I'm, yeah, I'm a little fiddly today and forgetting, and I had to start over. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But I'm sure glad you came to see it, the video, because I think you're really going to enjoy this. Okay, so I tied off the one end like I usually do. I don't know why I forgot that. Now I have to take both of these back through the other side and tie them again. That's not going to be hard because look at how big of a hole we got. This big hole. What is going on here? Now that does not usually happen. I must. I needed to get that tied tighter. I have like 
this, you know, I always go on and say what a foolproof way I have of tying knot, but I should have tied several there and I didn't, so too worried about other things. Okay. Yeah. Just just tie it. Tie it, you know, two or three times. And then that will not happen. Just do it one more time. If you want to see how I tie these knots and just focus on tying knots, we have a we have a couple of videos about that too. Okay, now I'm gonna go back through. That's not gonna let loose for me now. Okay, so now I gotta get this to come through, and I did. Okay, so now I want to get this one to go back through too. Both of them. I want both of them to go back through. Excuse me. Alright, so now I just need to do the same thing again. Tie it several times. And it'll be okay. So I'll tie it on that side, and I'll bring it in here, and I'll tie it again. And then after that, I'll tie it one more time. And then what I do is I don't, I don't cut this off right away. I kind of let it be. It would have been really good if I would have stretched my cord a little bit more first, too. I did do it a little bit before we got on camera, but it would have been better if I'd done that. But since I didn't, I'm going to leave this sit, and then... I'll go and I'll put a little drop of hypotube cement on that dot or whatever it is that you use. Some people use a jewelry super glue. I hate that stuff, but if it works for you, then you use it. Okay, this is good. See, it's not, it's really not separating much. I like it. It came out pretty. For me, this is the right size. I don't like them tight, tight, you know. But that's cute. Everybody's going to say, what'd you do? Where'd you get that? Right? So I could tie that even tighter. And I will. So I will. I will go ahead and I'll glue that later after I maybe retie that knot one more time, and then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll cut it, and then I'll have a finished bracelet, and it will look like this, pretty pretty. So this is kind of sort of what it looks like. Actually, it looks better because I had this all apart, <laughs> taking a picture for online of what's in it, but. Um, Inside, it's in a little bag like this, and it's got a little cute sticker, and inside, open it up, and what do you get? You get two really pretty pieces of, this is just the right, you know, weight, I guess is what I want to say. It's typical scrapbook paper, you know, it's two-sided, so you can use this side, you can use this side. So you got two pieces there, and it's cut about right, too. You would cut along this way, this way, this way. you probably get three beads out of that rolling them the way I did last week. If you have a different way of doing it, then of course you do it you know, your way. There's a nice piece of this stuff in there. Where you put this back? There's this. I sent you some of this, and it's pretty. I just got this. I think it's so pretty. And I can see possibilities with it, so I gave you a piece of it. You could probably roll this and make these. I don't see why not. I don't see why not at all. So... You know, you just have to figure it out. But you have the basics, so you can figure it out. I'm sure you can. You can totally do it. And I gave you <clears throat> some, well, this is several pieces of this stuff. And this is what you roll to make the beads. <clears throat> and then there's a piece of this kind of ribbon. There isn't any, uh, the pink velvet ribbon, because I didn't have any when I made the kits. So this is what's in there. I just got it yesterday afternoon. There's a piece of sari ribbon that you can make a sari rose or something if you want. And then there's this stuff. This is cool. This is like a, a border. Like you could almost take it and make a cuff with it. It's thicker, you know, stuff. But I have used it to make beads. I had one sitting here a minute ago. Of course, now it's gone. I'll find it. But anyway, yeah, I use this to make beads. I cut it halfway down in the middle and then rolled it, you know. It's just like half long ways. 
and you rolled it. That makes me mad I don't want to see it now. Anyways. Okay, and then there's a bunch of little cute stuff in here too. There's, oh, I put a rolled bead in there for you to help you remember how to do it. And then I put some of these spools so you can make those spool beads. And I put some of these little rondelles and stuff with the sparklies in it. And I put some um, I put some pearls and I even put a rose. So you got all kinds of stuff to get you started. All this stuff is in that bag. Okay, so how do you get it? If you can do a $35 order for me at my website, thesuboutiques.com, I will give you this. You know, if you're clever, there's enough in here probably you can make a stretchy bracelet from what's in here. And if not, I mean, you can make a bunch of beads for sure. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can experiment with all the things we talked about last week and this week. And you can give them a try on me. I really don't have this stuff at my site for sale. These were the things that were in my Uptown Boho class that I had in their their packages. And I had, you know, I had a lot left. A lot. So... Um, I just may make some of these packages up at some point and I'll sell them, but you could get it for free this week. Come on over, see what we have. We have the coolest stuff. We have a lot of stuff, thousands of things. And pick up a few things to kind of inspire you, you know. And then you can get this kit. I don't even know what to call it for the value of it, maybe. I don't know, 12, 15 bucks in there maybe. Okay, so anyways, that's that. So that's what you get. So you can make stuff like this. See, because you get the you get that uh, lace in there, you get spools, you get another type of ribbon, but you can still do this. Um, there were some little shiny things in there and some uh, pearls. But there are no shrag rondelles in there, to be honest. A bunch of paper, you got all kinds of paper you can make. You can make three times as many beads of that paper in there. So there you go. So I hope maybe you'll take a shot at this. Come on over and get your free kit with purchase. This is going to be today's July 14th through July 17th. That's Monday. Then I'll have this offer. After that, 2023. After that, they'll be gone for sure. I don't know if I can make more. I could try. Okay? So you can ask. But anyway, just ask for your kit. You get it asking you shall receive. Thanks so much for watching me today and hanging in there with me. I wish I could have done a better job, but I think you get the point and I think you can do this. So give it a shot and we'll see you next time. Bye.